In this video, I'd like to show you how to use your Servo DMX with a Flex or Flex Max and our director software. So I've got our director software running here. If you don't have that, you can download it at uh, www.frightideas.com. First thing you want to do is make sure you have the latest version. Pull down the help menu, select check for updates, and as you can see here, we have the latest version. After that, you'll want to connect your Servo DMX to your Flex or Flex Max, as shown in the picture on screen here. And also plug in your Director Connect, and you should see this little circular icon here. So once you have that done, pull down the Connect menu and select the Servo DMX 421 Utility. Now we'll just confirm our Servo DMX has the latest version. Type in the current DMX address here. By default, that's 9. If you've changed it, then type in that address, or you can see what the current address is by watching the LEDs when it boots up and the status light is blue. For now, we'll leave it at 9 and click the Get Info button. So it says our firmware is up to date. It's version 1.17. This particular Servo DMX has eight channels provisioned, which is how many servos were paid for when it was purchased. Eight of them are currently enabled. One NeoPixel channel is enabled for a total of 11 DMX channels. So remember these two numbers. We have eight servo channels and one NeoPixel channel. So we'll close this and we will create a new show. Usually it's a Flex Max or a Flex that's being used. If you're using a Flex, make sure you choose an eight output model with DMX. That is the model that you'll need to control a servo DMX. So I'll click select. Now we'll add the servo DMX to the show. So click the plus button here. Select servo DMX. Now this is where we have to enter how many servos, which was eight. How many NeoPixels, which was one. Click select. Now it's telling us this, the DMX address that this servo DMX should be set at. So that is five. And if that box didn't pop up for you, you can always come down here and on the left side you can see DMX5. So we'll go back to that menu once again. And we can use the Set DMX Address option. Type in 5. Now make sure only the servo DMX that we just added is plugged in, if you have more than one. If you only have the one, you don't have to worry about it. But if you have two, only plug in the one that you want to associate with DMX address 5. We'll hit the set button here. It confirms we only have one. And now it says that servo DMX with a serial number is set to address 5. So if you have a second servo DMX, you would just repeat this process. You'd hit plus, you'd add another one, select the servo channels and NeoPixel channels. It would give you a different address. And you go back here, and this time you'll unplug the first one that we just changed, plug in the other one, type in the new address, and then set that address. Okay, so now we've got a flex at the top with its eight outputs, and a servo DMX with eight servo channels and one NeoPixel channel. Let me just drag some time over here. So to control the servos you can just draw in here with your mouse or you can use the virtual console. Generally when you're working with the virtual console you'll just want to have one of these servos enabled. So to do that you hit record and then you can tap spacebar or hit play to start recording. And as it's recording, you could use the slider here to control the position of the servo. And as you can see up there, it's recording our movements. So we can hit stop. Now I'll show you the NeoPixel. So by default, the NeoPixel would be off, which is represented here as black. 
you can control the color with these three sliders, a red slider, a green one, and a blue one. So if I hit record again, let's start that. We can fade red, green, blue, and then we can turn them all on to get white. And that's how you might control color. Or if you wanted to control color manually, you can right click down here, say change cursor color, select a color, yellow let's say, we'll draw it yellow, let's try another color, maybe we'll do blue, draw blue at the end, and now if you wanted to transition between those colors, you would just select the area between, right click on your selection, say transition, and director automatically makes a smooth transition between those two colors in those regions. That's basically it for the Servo DMX. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.